So today, I am going to be upgrading my Mortal Kombat 4 Revision 2 into a Mortal Kombat 4 Revision 3. For those of you who don't know, this arcade machine came... Look at Quan Chi over there. So cool. Uh, this arcade machine originally came in three different variations, um, each one um, adding more features and more fatalities and things like that. And the final variation, Revision 3, is the one that... I'm used to playing in the arcade as well as it's the one that they eventually port it to like PlayStation and PC and Nintendo 64. So um, I got this Mortal Kombat 4 essentially as a trade, but it was a revision 2, which is pretty cool, but we're going to upgrade it to revision 3, so it will be the most updated version. So I'm going to take you guys through that process. And everything. So we got a normal midway symbol and then it's going to go swing with revision 2 and the revision 3 will whoosh, come into the center once i have it fully upgraded you remember that so i got these eproms from a really awesome website strongly recommend it um, they were called uh, hobbyroms.com and basically I was able to say hey these are the ROMs I want could you please do me a favor and print those out um, on the board itself they have labeled like this is U16 um, this is U18 so they have it labeled which ROMs, or, or rather, they have it labeled for the position. So ideally, I should just have to pop out these EPROMs and put these ones in. Um, so you gotta be gentle with it, but I think we can get it out. Let's try it out. Let's see here. So this is U10. So U10 is one of them that I need to have out. And I don't know where U11 is, but I'm assuming is this one right here. So, first thing I gotta do, I have to carefully try to pop this EEPROM out. Which they actually make a tool that makes popping these guys out a little easier. But, um, I don't have that tool. Okay, awesome. So that's U10. So um, these are marked with little notches. Yeah, there's a notch on this side and no notch on this side. So I'm going to put the U10 EEPROM in so that the notch faces the same direction as the other notches. Hey, Shinzi. I got a dog. All right, go away. Attempting to know what I'm doing. Okay, so that's one down. So that was a little bit of a hassle, but that's the first time I've done this um, on a Mortal Kombat board. I've done this once before on a um, Atari that I had an Atari that could read um, cartridges but would overheat, and I had another Atari that um, couldn't read cartridges but powered on just fine. So I swapped over uh, these little EPROMs. On the Atari, it made one working Atari. So the next EEPROM I need to put in is U11, which is actually marked on the bottom of this board. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up. Yep, boom, it came right out, cool. 
And then once again, I'm going to utilize little notches to determine that I'm putting these EEPROMs in the right place. So this is U11. And once again, these are, the board is labeled on several different places um, that, uh, take this with me, that, for example, it's labeled here, oh, let me focus that, it goes, it's labeled here, U10, so the U10 goes in that way, um, but also, so as you see, U11 is here, but once you pop out the ROM, it also, EEPROM, it also puts it under uh, it like this. Perfect. All right. So once again, I'm going to, I'm not going to, don't, so uh, according to the Hobby ROM guy, I shouldn't focus on the sticker. I should focus on these notches. So line. I think I got it first try. I think I got it. Cool. Well, only thing to do now is to power on the machine and see if it works. All right. So it says factory settings restored. Hit any button to continue. So that's a new opening. This is where it's going to check the ROMs, and these were the two that I replaced. I just checked those two ROMs that I replaced, and it said they were good. Those EEPROMs. Midway. Whoa! What up? Awesome. Boom! All right. <laughs> That's loud. Um, I'm gonna step away from that for a second. It is OWF. Um, so that, boom. That was couldn't be easier. So. Uh, for anybody who's looking to upgrade uh, your Mortal Kombat 4 or even somebody who's just looking for uh, those little EEPROM chips, someone to burn them for you, uh, Hobby ROMs does it. That was super easy. I couldn't be more happy with, with it. Um, uh, the actual EEPROMs didn't come with instructions, but when he sent me an email, he told me how to do it. Uh, just in a simple sentence, he just said replace U10 and U11, uh, but I was able to kind of figure out what was what by looking at the board. Um, I don't know board level um, tech stuff. Um, I do some arcade repair uh, for extra life repair, but I just, um, right now, I'm just like a level one technician, so, you know, I do things like, you know, replacing Molex connectors and, um, you know, buttons um, but anyways that's beside the point what I'm getting at is I don't know a whole lot about tech stuff I just know a bit um, but I was able to swap with those EEPROMs very easily and so now fully upgraded Mortal Kombat 4 so I just thought I'd take you guys on a little journey with me so hopefully you had fun with that video see you around